Alright, what is up everybody? This is your host Gaming Bud, and we're doing some more Rules of Survival. Uh, I know a few of y'all really wanted to see this video for a while, and so now I'm finally gonna make it. <laughs> so, right now I'm queuing up for a solo uh, game, and I have a few friend requests actually, and uh, so I'm gonna accept one of them, and leave the others hanging for a little while. You know, play a little hard to get. <laughs> so anyways, uh... So now I start uh, the search for the solo match. Because, uh, you know, I don't have any friends. And so, yeah, I'm just, I cut the lobby part and just go straight into the plane. So where I always go is I go to this one house right above Bitter Lake. And I set my marker for where I want to go after that. But where I always go first is to this one house above Bitter Lake. So I want, uh, So my goal was to go to training base right there. But before I go there, I'm going to go and stop at my usual house, that, that place where the marker is right now. I always go to that house. And it used to be that house was just loaded with a whole bunch of awesome stuff. But now it's just a pretty average house. But I've built a habit of just going to it every time. And sometimes I switch it up, but that's usually where I go. So I fly down. And usually once I hit my parachute, I look around to see where other people are like on their way down. So once my parachute goes out, I look around and I see another guy over there, but he's a little far away. So I didn't really think about messing with him. But there is one guy on the ground that I'm sure y'all have spotted by now. Uh, and anyways, he has a pistol. Spoiler alert. So anyways, I get down on the ground and I head after him. So at first, I, I mean... I see that he has a weapon right now, but I just I just didn't think that he saw me, that he was just being totally blind, because he wasn't shooting at me, and so I, I just thought I was going to die at, like, any moment now. So then he just starts running away, so I start chasing him, and uh, I st try to start, you know, punching him. And finally, I get a few hits off, and he's just, and then finally he starts shooting at me, and uh, so then I grab some bandages from him and the pistol. But guess what? When I grab the pistol, it doesn't have any ammo. So I'm trying to shoot this other guy right here. But I can't. And I don't, I don't, know, I don't know why. So anyways, now he's, ro now he's on the ground and I try punching him. But no matter, like whenever I had that pistol in my hand, I was pressing the, the, that shoot button, you know. It just wouldn't shoot. And I, I just guess it didn't have any ammo in it. So, now I go into the house, and the first thing I pick up is a crowbar, because, you know, just in case I need it for right now, I get the grenade, and I come over here, and I see a shotgun, and just by the way, shotgun is my favorite gun, uh, it's very good close range, and that's, I mean, unless you're a hardcore scoper, <laughs> I usually go with a shotgun, because I can usually evade opposing, uh, opponent's bullets until I get into close range where I can just one shot him with the shotgun but I do like rifles uh, I like rifles a lot because it gives you that long range advantage and then there's sniper rifles for those tryhards out there so now I'm heading over to the training base and I turn myself around and realize oh yeah it's it's this direction yeah so I see the bombing zone over there to the right but so, I decide, hey, I'm going to go straight for the bombing zone. No, I'm just joking. Uh, as you saw those lines on the map. Those are, if you're outside of those lines, once the, the, this little, if you're outside of those lines for too long, you'll start taking lots of damage. And it's because they want all the players to go into a confined space so that y'all can, you know, face each other and not just create a long, boring game of just hide and go seek, you know what I mean? And so I'm trying to get within those lines before, you know, it's too late and I, you know, have to race there and, you know, start taking a bunch of damage. So I forget where I set my, uh, my point to, but now I'm content on climbing this mountain up here. Hopefully I'll find a, I, I was hoping that I'd find a motorcycle or even a bike or something like that to help me get to my point quicker because I don't like being out in the open, uh, for long because you know it's a really easy target for other people so now I'm climbing this mountain 
and in real life I would probably be going a lot slower, but you know, it's it's this rules of survival magic right here. So when I was to get up and I start, you start seeing those gunshots up there. You see, you know, there's gunshots coming. And so I'm just looking around like, okay, well, what's up? Where Where is this dude at trying to shoot at me? I mean, so, you know, I get, I get my shotgun ready, you know, I get everything loaded up. And so then I start going over to where I see the bullets and so, uh, yeah, I, I keep, I make my way over there. And none of them are shooting at me, so I was assuming that these two guys were just shooting at each other. And I was thinking to myself, all right, so I'm just going to go, and they're going to make each other weak, and I'll pop in, you know, and kill both of them. Or maybe just kill one of them, because the other one had killed another one in their little fight. So I climbed this mountain up here, this, like, little hill. And uh, I tried to see what all was going on. And I see a house, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, there's not, nobody down on the ground. There's surely someone up at the top of the house. Because I'd think, you know, they'd be up there trying to shoot down at someone. So I go into the door, and it was open. So I was like, all right, okay, so there's just got to be someone in this house. And to me, they would just try to go up to the top. And now this house is on fire, so I don't know if there's like, you know, if they, I don't know how they get the house on fire. I don't know if someone threw a grenade or it was like a bombing zone or something. I do not know. So when I was, I'm up on the top and I start looking around, but no, there's nothing up here but just a bunch of guns and, you know, stuff. And I was like, oh, all right, I'll, I'll take some shotgun ammo. I didn't really want anything else at the time. I didn't want an SMG. So then I jumped down. And, uh, start to find my way to the, uh, where my marker is, that, uh, research place. So I jump down, and I take, uh, a good amount of damage trying to jump down. So I jump down at some point. And I realize, alright, well, I'm badly hurt, so I try taking some bandages, and boom! Th this dude shoots me! And I'm like, what? But, yeah, you know, that's kind of how it is in Rules of Survival. I mean, people just kind of sneak up on you like that. But, uh, overall, I finished 65th out of 119 teams, which is about half, a little, uh, a little under half. But anyways, yeah, thank y'all for watching. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.